Hey guys, welcome back to my booth. Today I'll be checking out this laser projection keyboard which was sent to me by Gearbest.com earlier this week. What is a laser projection keyboard you ask? Well, it projects an image of a keyboard down onto your table and you should be able to type by tapping on the image itself. After a bit of digging into my Hotmail inbox, I was able to find an email from 8 years ago. It was about the futuristic computers which I mentioned in my previous unboxing video. You can see here back then this was a concept computer the size of a pen. It was supposed to project a screen onto a wall or a surface in front of you and a keyboard down onto the table. And you could carry the whole thing in your pocket. Technically speaking, we have computers the size of a flash drive nowadays, projection keyboards as well as tiny sized screen projectors. It's just a matter of putting them together into one device. Anyway, let's look at the matter at hand. On the front of the box is an image of the device and the keyboard. On the side it shows it is compatible with smartphones, tablets, computers and gaming consoles. On the other side it says all the operating systems it is compatible with, including Android 4.0 and above, iOS 4.0 and above, Windows XP and later, and even BlackBerry 10. On the back are some more features and specifications. Inside the box we have the keyboard, an instruction manual, and a micro USB cable for charging. Let's have a detailed look at the keyboard now. It is pretty lightweight, about 60 grams, that's what the packet says. Black back and front with a shiny silver plastic border all the way around. On the right are the power button, a micro USB port for charging and a spot for keyring strap. Let's power it up now. On the front we have the laser which projects the keyboard pattern, a tracking sensor, two LEDs and an infrared light source. Looking at the keyboard pattern you can clearly see it is your usual QWERTY keyboard it is 24 by 10 centimeters and it has all the keys including numbers and arrow keys. Most of the symbols have been moved to the uppermost row and very few keys are missing like the home button and the end button but they're not that important anyways. And yes the F1 to F12 keys are not there at all. It connects to devices using Bluetooth version 3.0 and above. It charges completely in 2 hours and offers a battery life of 2 hours of continuous use. Let's go ahead and pair it up with my iPad. When the keyboard is switched on, the left LED will keep blinking slowly, meaning it is not connected to anything. I'll open up my Bluetooth settings on the iPad. When the keyboard shows up as laser projection keyboard, I'll go ahead and connect it. The left LED will stop blinking and that means it is now connected. Let's give it a try now. Let me open up the notepad. And it works. It does work. It makes a little beep sound and the right LED blinks every time I type a letter which is pretty helpful since you don't have to continuously look at the screen to know whether it is typing or not. It will not work very well on uneven, transparent or reflective surfaces or near another source of infrared radiation like direct sunlight or a halogen or a tungsten bulb. I have to say the recognition is pretty spot on. It seems to work flawlessly and it can handle a recognition rate of up to 350 words per minute. Let me tell you how it works. The laser here is projecting the keyboard pattern. This infrared light is emitting a plane of infrared radiation just above the surface of the keyboard. When I press a key, the infrared beam is broken and this tracker here triangulates my finger's position to determine which key was pressed. It also has a mouse function by the way. Let me switch to my laptop for that. When I tap on this little cursor key, the keyboard brightness will decrease and the mouse mode is on. You can move your finger across the field of projection and you can see the cursor on my screen is moving. A tap is equal to a click. You can simply click or even double click to open something. You can even tap with two fingers to right click. You can also drag with two fingers to scroll through a page. I didn't expect much of the mouse option, but I have to say now, it is almost as good as your average mouse pad. There are some other additional features like with the shift key, I can either press and hold the shift key and press another key to apply the shift function, or I can simply tap on it once 
and leave it like that and the shift key will lock. The right LED will stay lit and to remove the shift just tap on it once again. Additionally you can also change the brightness of the laser by pressing and holding the function key and pressing the up and down arrows. And the beep volume can also be lowered or increased by pressing and holding the function key and tapping the left and right arrows. The lowest volume is completely silent but I am sure you don't want that. Now to the real test. Is it good enough to replace a standard keyboard? For that I have prepared a little test. There is a website called typeracer.com where you can check your typing speed and even compete with others from around the world. I have selected a simple paragraph to type and let's see what I get with my laptop keyboard. To get a fair result I will continue typing the same paragraph in all the tests to come. Okay, my speed is 70 words per minute which is pretty average for anyone who has learned to touch type without looking at the keyboard. With the laser keyboard the drawback is that I can't touch the keys otherwise it will start typing. I can only hover above the guide keys which are F and J. On a normal keyboard these two keys have a small bump on them which lets you know that your index fingers are sitting in the right place. That is why you can see I am making way more mistakes with this one and the speed has been reduced to 20 words per minute. That is a big difference. For the second test, I'm not going to be touch typing. I'll be typing by looking at the keyboard. Then it becomes a different story altogether. And my typing speed for the same paragraph with my laptop keyboard will be 40 words per minute. With this method, I'm assuming the speed with the laser keyboard will be pretty much close to the normal keyboard. But we'll find out in a moment. And it seems like I was somewhat right. My typing speed for this method with the laser keyboard is 34 words per minute, which is not that different from 40. The main difference was between 70 and 40. This is still uh, manageable. So, in conclusion, if you're typing like a pro anyway, this is gonna slow you down. But if you're not, this is as good as your traditional keyboard. It is not really required since all the smartphones and tablets come with an on-screen keyboard and you're not going to type any faster with this, except gaming consoles. That is one practical application I can see for it, unless you prefer to type on the screen by moving around your joystick levers. But whatever the case, it is going to leave one hell of an impression wherever you take it. I've left a link for it in the description below in case you want to check it out. And yes, if you leave the keyboard unattended, it is gonna go into power saving mode and the brightness will become dim after 30 seconds. And after 5 minutes of no use, it will power off completely. I also tried placing the device a little higher above surface to get a bigger keyboard. But it won't work because the plane of infrared light is still in the same place which is now about 2 inches above the table. And not aligned with the pattern anymore. Well, let me know what you think about this keyboard and is there anything I missed? That's it for now guys, I do gadget reviews, life hacks and facts videos every Friday and sometimes a bonus video midweek. Make sure you subscribe and follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus and Instructables. Click on the thumbnails to watch my other videos or check out my YouTube channel for more. And as always, thanks for watching.